Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. It's amazing. With sound, she can help you heal or help you feel better from a number of different things. We're going to talk about one of those things today, and you probably have it, and it's affecting the way you feel. And we're going to dig deeper into that. She is Barb, and she's a sound healer from Barb Sounds. Welcome back, Barb. How you doing? Thanks. I'm well. How about you? Oh, doing, doing great. And Good. it's amazing once you start learning about energy and how it affects us all, how even sound is energy because it comes from a vibration and it, it truly helps you heal, right? Mm-hmm. This has been proven scientifically. They do even sound healing at hospitals, uh, even before surgery. There'll be certain sounds that they play, and not just for the the patients heading into surgery, but for the surgeons. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're on point to clear out anything that might get in the way energetically. Um, when did when was your first moment when you realized that this stuff is real? This stuff actually works. Gosh, I think it was, <clears throat> I I was studying Reiki, but I mean, that wasn't really the point. Um, I think that time for me was the first time I did a session with an energy healer, my energy healer that I worked with actually for five years. But mm -hmm. in the very first session, you know, I went in, I had no idea what she, who she was or what she was going to do. Um, she worked, she did cranial sacro, which is similar to Reiki, but. Um, works with the fluid in your like that goes around in the kind of racetrack around your spine and your brain and <clears throat> I just I, I don't know I, I I lay down on the massage table and she started to you know she scanned me by putting her hands on my my ankles and then she just started to do the treatment and she had this nice music playing in the background and it was crazy. Like I, I hadn't known what to expect, but I was lying there and I could all of a sudden feel like all of the energy in my body. I could feel my chakras spinning around. I could see the colors of them. Um, I could feel like energy moving like inside my body. And I never, ever felt that before. And you were aware of energy and how we're all energy and everything before you went in there it wasn't like you went in mm -hmm. there blind if you will no hmm. no i didn't do, know too much about energy healing i mean i knew i knew about energy but i didn't really know how amazing it was to to heal with energy i was starting to learn that in reiki yeah. um, when i was training to do reiki um <clears throat> but really having I, I don't think you can actually understand how energy feels in your body and how it works until you've had some kind of energy healing, you know, like whether it's Reiki or like I had to have that. And as I've said before in previous podcasts, I had had a locking tailbone for, I don't know, about 15, 20 years, like, and I was in 24 hour pain. And when I went home after that first hour of, of this healer working, doing energy healing on me, um, I, I had dinner, I walked my dog and then I was going to bed and I all of a sudden realized I had no pain, wow. which was incredible. And then I thought, oh, that's nice. I'm going to enjoy it. If it's back in the morning, you know, okay. At least I know how I can maybe get a little bit of a break from it. And it never came back. Amazing. <laughs> I, I so then I was hooked. Then I was really hooked. Right. I was like, how did this happen? How did it's, this happen? It's an amazing feeling. Even if it doesn't alleviate major stuff like that, but mm -hmm. just the, the lighter overall feeling that you have after a session with an energy healer, uh, yeah. it, it is amazing. It just, uh, it's just, it's almost indescribable, but it, it kind of uh, almost uh, like a reset sometimes too. Yep, it is. And, and a lot of that is, you know, is what we're going to, um, what I'm going to play for today, which is clearing negative energies so we have you know negative energies are just sort of lower frequency energies um you know as as i've explained a, a couple of times so even our thoughts and feelings are frequencies sure. so a low energy is hate or depression or 
or fear. I mean, you know, hate is and, and anger are down at 25 hertz and love is up at 500. Joy is over 800. So Wait, I just want to make sure I heard that right. Joy is higher than love. Yeah. You know, when a while ago I played for joy here yeah. and afterwards when I went inside, because it had really affected me and I could feel like in my body and my feelings in my mind, like that I was feeling much more joy than I usually do. And, and I got curious about the frequencies because I, you know, I know that love is like a little over 500. So I looked it up and it's, I think it's about 825. Hmm. Wow. Interesting, eh? Yeah. You said A. Mm -hmm. Canadian. Yeah. You're Canadian. That's because I'm Canadian. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, you always say A at the end of sentences. It's like the period. I'm gonna, I, and this is a complete digression, but it is connected to music in some regards. Uh, the band Rush. You're familiar, yes? Yeah. Giddy Lee of Rush. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, the lead guy. What was his biggest hit song that he was involved with? Biggest hit song? No idea. I don't know that it one. Wasn't, it know wasn't... That one. It wasn't any song by Rush. It was a song that came out in the early 80s, a holiday theme song uh, by Bob and Doug McKenzie. And if you're a Canadian, you probably know the one I'm talking about. Um, they do the 12 days of summer, but I, I, I 12, day, 12 days of winter, I'm sorry. Uh, and they change it, and it's it's a Canadian-type song. It was a top five hit in the States. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Getty Lee of Rush was the guy behind it. I just learned that. I was like, yeah, I had no idea. Of course, they're both Canadian. That's what brought me yeah. here. You know, we're talking music and, and Canada. Yeah. Um, and, and in that song, it's it, it, they end the song with a good day. Eh? <laughs> like, like everything is, is uh, Canadian terminology. Yeah, we don't even actually really, I don't think we even notice when we say a. Eh? Yeah. You know, most of the time. They always say that, like, like, if somebody said something in the song, he'd be like, take off. Meaning like, go away. I don't yeah. know if that's that's a real Canadian term, but you know, early eighties. It used to be. It was eighties. It was an eighties term. I don't think people yeah. say it now. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, so back to the frequencies. I mean, what you know, what happens? What we call negative energies is when we absorb that those lower frequencies from other people around us, or you know, situations. Um, you know, so somebody, if you're around somebody who's really sick, you start to feel kind of ooh sluggy, you know, and it's not like that person's doing anything to you on purpose, but you're, when you're near them, you are, you are absorbing their energy. Yeah. Um, and, or, you know, if you're, if somebody's, I find when I'm, when I'm driving, I can be in a really happy mood. And then if somebody like honks at me or tries to cut me off, I can at like, or is like following me you know, really closely, I start to get really, I start to get kind of road rage, right? Like not badly, but I mean, I, I would be perfectly happy one minute and then the next, you know, and it's, it's partly because I'm, you know, not happy with them because that's what they're doing. But also I think it's like, if somebody follows me for a long time, I can feel that energy going into my body and we don't have a lot of ways to let that go, you know, to get, to get that out. And that's one of the things that sound healing does in almost every um, sound healing session that I do part of the healing no matter what the intention is for you know for the person for healing it will also it will include releasing um, you know or clearing negative energies in your body I, I believe I experienced something like this today I ran into somebody I've known him a couple of years I, I've hung with him you know with a, a group of people from time to time um, he's a little toxic. That's all I'm going to say. And I just happened to run into him yes. and he's, he calls me his therapist because he always dumps his problems on me and I try to give him advice and things like, and he's going at it. And I'm like, you know, in my mind, I'm like looking at my phone, but I'm not, but I, in my mind, I'm like, get out of here. What time is it? And I'm going to honestly tell you that ever since I ran into him, I feel a little bit drained today. I was like, da -da -da -da, this is going to be a great day. And he kind of, he wasn't. He was negative, but not like horribly negative, but it's just like, he's got this like, and no filter, by the way, you can be in a group of people and he'll be saying stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe he just said that. I hope nobody heard it and associate me with him. Um, but I feel it. 
And then the other side of it is there are energy vampires that can just feed on your positive energy mm -hmm. because they want it. So I guess that's not a – would that also be clearing negative energy in some regards? Yes, definitely. Wow, okay. Definitely, because when somebody – when somebody is n near you who is an energy vampire, it means that they have so much um, lower frequency energy in themselves, like in their body, in their mind, in their thoughts, feelings, and in their energy, you know, bodies, uh. um, that they're basically, they're, you know, that they're basically taking any kind of light and higher frequencies that you have. Wow. So then that, that drains you too, right? I think we should start because we do this every time. And I then, know, and then I don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time to talk after we're done. But yeah, I just looked at the clock and I'm like, mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got sidetracked with the Canadianisms. Good day. <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what it's about. All right. So I'm going to play for whatever, five to ten minutes. Sure. Clearing a negative. Bit. Yeah, when we're going to do clearing negative energies. So now I got my original sound on. Found my studio. Yep. Okay. So take a few deep breaths before we start. Just in through your nose and out through your mouth. <clears throat> and. Uh, as you're doing that, try to feel either in your body or in your mind, your thoughts or feelings, if there are any negative energies that you can focus on or that you might want to be able to, to release during this sound bath. And then just close your eyes and enjoy.
this is why people need to book a longer session mm-hmm. because I was just feeling back. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> I take off the headphones and I put on the speakers. So I hear it in the room. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, yeah, all right, I'm just, I'm getting there. I'm in the zone and then we're done. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but interesting like every I try not to analyze what you're doing in terms mm-hmm. of te- intention like when I hear you know today versus another day you know you, you played for joy I try not to I try, I try not to listen to a difference in what I'm hearing mm-hmm. um, because I don't think I would even know the difference you know, if 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 you didn't tell me what you were playing for, I couldn't say, well, wait, yeah. So I think my mind is like hearing certain things. But again, it goes back to the intent. Yeah. Would it work that way if you said, all right, everybody, I'm going to play. I'm not telling you what the intent is. I'm just going to play. And we walked away not knowing. But would the intent of the energy, like, for example, today, clearing negative energy, energy, would that go in to all of us and clear the negative energy out, even though if we didn't know the intent? That's a really good question. Um, I don't know. In, in my group, um, in my group sound bass, <clears throat> I don't. I don't have an intention myself. I suggest before I play that people, if they want a specific kind of healing, you know, if they want to deal with something specific that they make an, an intention, but they do it silently. Um, most people don't ever tell me what their intention was. Um, it, it, and I think also, it, you know, so, so there's so many, there's so many notes and there's so many frequencies. Let's call them frequencies, right? Cause that's what we're talking about. There's so many frequencies, which we hear is like a gazillion notes and, and they're almost, sometimes we can't even hear some of them because they're all mixed in with the other notes. Like if they all just kind of blend, you know, like when I'm playing the singing bowls at the beginning, when I hit each one of them, you can hear this, the specific, you know, the kind of major frequency of that bowl. Right. And then all the harmonics, but then after when they're all playing, it just sounds like one big bowl. Same with when you're playing the gongs, right? When I'm playing a couple of gongs together, you loot, you can't really distinguish between the two. And so I think, Intentions help people to um, intentions help people to focus on a particular, you know, way the energy is working in their body. So if if people are listening to this, to me playing today, like you are, and everybody who's live, and then people who are listening to the recording, because we've said that the intention is clearing negative energies, people are going to be more open to that, right? And so that will happen for them. But, you know, people can go into a sound healing, um, you know, thinking that they want to deal with, you know, X and instead Y and Z happens. Because sometimes we don't know, you know, sometimes we want to heal something, but that means to get rid of it or, you know, and that just doesn't work. Or sometimes we're focused on one thing, but there's like something else over here, right, that we really need to deal with first. It's like when I was, um, you know, when we were talking about anger and hurt, if you don't deal with the hurt, you can't, get, you can't, you know, you can't reduce the anger. So what happens in that sound bath, I can be playing for anger, but then, you know, if people are open to it, um, then the, the frequencies that are causing them to feel hurt are also going to change. So I just got a thought that when you play, like somebody does Reiki, I've always understood that the energy goes in and just goes where it needs to go. Yeah. So maybe this is kind of the same thing. Yeah. The intention is is nice because you're. Mm-hmm. It's almost I don't know. Best analogy I can have here is like you're you're firing a shot. Uh, if you're have you have an intent, you know where you want the target to go. You where the you know bullet or whatever, it's going to go there. Yeah. If you don't, you're just playing. And it's still going to heal, but it's not going to be as focused for that one certain thing. I might internalize, hey, maybe I need to heal uh, from anxiety. And then somebody else may, needs to heal from uh, stress or depression, whatever it is. Uh, 
it's going to get in there and get the job done. Yeah. It's like Reiki. Yeah. And it will, because what it's doing is, it, I mean, the sound healing is going to every part of your body. It's going, it's affecting your thoughts and your feelings. And it's also going to the, your various energy bodies. Mm -hmm. you know, so your aura and your chakras and all of those things, sure. the, the meridians and everything. And it, and it is flowing to where it needs to go. And it doesn't have to be a different sound that the gongs or bowls are making because it can be flowing through you and where it's got to go for you, mm -hmm. right? Like how your shoulder felt better the like a couple of podcasts ago when I wasn't playing for pain or like people's shoulders to get a bit better. But the, like that's what your being, right? Re and it, receiving those fundamental, like those frequencies, Um <clears throat> and and then they were in training that part of your body that needed like some relief so you know it's we can we can't really think in our head what is going to happen in our body in our energy field before and <clears throat> i think because the instruments play completely differently every time so it's not like you can't attach, like you can't say, oh, well, this note or this chord is, you know, people talk about how the minor chords and the major chords when you're playing piano or guitar or something um, uh, affect you differently, right? And, you know, you people, people tune their, like some people tune their guitars to 432 instead of 440. And supposedly that's more healing and it's, you know, it's softer and it's more emotional and all that kind of thing. I find that like I sing completely differently when I tune my guitar to 432 than when I'm singing. I didn't know you play guitar. I do, but not in front of people. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's my private thing I do for me, but. And and I want, I want to go back to it. I never could play in the first place, like, you know, but I, I, I respect people and, you know, uh, that play any instrument, really. We yeah. are, we're out of time. So how do we uh, how do we jump in the bath? Well, <laughs> if you um, if you want to book, I'm I'm currently doing like instead of a sort of you know complimentary half hour, um, you know consult that most people do, I do a complimentary thirty minute sound bath. So you can have a thirty minute sound bath free with me. Um, you can just go straight to my booking site, which is calendly.com slash barb sounds, and you could book a half hour there. And, okay. and then you jump in, like, there's really no other way to learn about sound healing and how it's going to work for you than to actually just come and do one with me. Yeah. And bottom line, is see how you feel afterwards. Yeah. And, and then go from there. You know, mm -hmm. I think you're going to be hooked <laughs> with yeah. any, kind of, any kind of energy healing. Uh, it just, it, it works. It works for what else you and the energy, you know, like I said before, when I was trying to think when you're playing is it for this is it for that this doesn't know this knows the body knows yeah and i'm not playing specific notes and stuff right it's not like i'm playing you know right. c g d exactly. e f yeah. like to to do something you know to you or for you um i'm just i'm just letting the sounds and the frequencies come and like you know we you were saying earlier it's it's true that those energies and those frequencies will go into every single person yep. differently. And, and what happens, happens, what needs to happen, happens. And that's yeah. not always what our mind thinks. Right. Just stop thinking. Anyway. <laughs> Just stop. Don't overthink it. Just uh, go to calendly.com forward slash Barb sound. Slash Barb's. Yep. Get your free 30 minute uh, sound bath. Yep. Thank, you, Barb. Thank you so much. Okay. No problem. Appreciate it. And, uh, uh, don't get snowed in. I know it's snowing up there in Canada. No, it's not really. It's 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 still melting. It's not. It's not quite winter yet, but yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> Same here. All right, we'll talk soon. Okay, take care. Thanks. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action.
Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.